Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Red Dwarf. Um, today, <coughs> we're going to be testing out this prototype of Red Dwarf, which has been modified and experimented with several times. And we're going to be flying it all the way today to the distant world of Jewel. And I'm going to show you all of the moons there. First things first, we need to make sure that we can get into low carbon orbits. I'll give you a little quick tour of my ship. Inside here is the command module. There are these hexastrap cores that hold the ship together and these specialist um, truss circuits I made. The advanced SA system is Holly your ship or computer. Um, there's a deck here that's not quite finished yet, but I'm hoping to have like bunk bays and chicken soup machines and everything in here. And uh, down here we have the uh, docking bay, and this is where, uh, well, this thing here I can show you. I can open and close the airlock if I want to. Whee! You see that? How neat is that? And what I'm hoping to do, I was trying to do a work with um, uh, order this uh, docking module, but every time I tried to fit it into the docking bay, my ship just fell apart. But hopefully this should uh, hold together quite nicely. Better close the door before we get out of the atmosphere. There we go. Okay. And these are my docking clamps here. And these hopefully will be able to capture Starbug so that I can then get out of this one and then fly into this. This mission, I won't be landing on any planet, sadly, because I still haven't uh, figured that out. If you've seen my last video, you saw what sort of disaster happened. Oop. We're getting quite fast quite quickly. Wait until our uh, periapsis reaches about uh, 200,000 metres, and then we can start tilting over. Because at the moment, as you see up here, you've still got quite a lot of atmosphere, and uh, Red Dwarf is uh, not the most um, aerodynamic of beasts, but she's very good in space. I might coast a bit now. Take the T off. And I think we'll go 90 degrees over to the west now. And you can steer her over with her beastly uh, RCS system that I've made. And I'll blast her up. We'll have a look at the map. Now if we want to go to Jewel, we really want to be thinking about heading... Because I think he's going to be going this. I think he's going to be going this way around, isn't he? So we really want to be aiming for about there, or about there. I mean, my attitude is just fire straight at him if you've got the fuel. But obviously, for some of you people who want to spend three years uh, on a radioactive lump of Nerf, Nerva rocket, then go ahead. But I, I don't like that, and I'm saying that this uh, wonderful star drive that I've made is much cleaner and uh, all of you nuclear fission people saying, oh yes, let's put nuclear fission propulsion systems into space. I say to all of you, go to hell. Rain down your radioactive waste on someone else. Not on my time. That's what I have to say about this new nuclear engine. So, I, I refuse to use it, so I've come up with my own mod, and I've uh, come up with uh, Red Dwarf, and I'm saying he uses a much cleaner deuterium fuel. And I actually looked into energy densities in Wikipedia, and it turned out that it's actually... Um, it's actually a hell of a lot more uh, energy dense than uranium, in fact. And we want to be headed over in this direction. So we really want to do it... We really want to be headed in this way, really, don't we? Okay. So how about we uh, take us off not in 90 degrees now? and we see if we can change the course over to where we want. That's taking us the wrong way. You don't want to be going that way at all. You really want to be going straight up. This is also quite a good training craft I found, because if you want to learn about things like orbital slingshot and things of this sort, this ship gives you plenty of fuel to do that with, which I'm very happy about. Okay, so we're headed straight up. Let's lock onto that. T. 
Let's give ourselves plenty of thrust. And now, yes, as you can see now, this is now moving this way round, which is what we want. But if anything, we probably want to be going up and back a bit, don't we? Up. And sort of antagonistic to our road raid. See how that's affecting it. Yeah, there we go. We're doing loads of turn around now. I really want to sort of align that up with uh, the general direction of where uh, he's going, which is over there. But actually, what we could do is we can do a slingshot past the moon there. So that's what we'll do. That. There we go. And now what we'll do is we'll... Um, dare I do a little spacewalk? Dare I? Oh, should I or should I? I don't know, there's no point. I mean, you've already seen me walk around the cargo bay in previous ones, but uh, I'll just I'll just fly us there for now, just to show you the, what the engine and everything's capable of, because I keep banging on and on about this, uh, this star drive, and uh, I never show you what it's capable of. Oh yeah, you have to take the RCS system off, because otherwise Holly yeah, just sorts spraying fuel everywhere, just because he's a mischievous little computer. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look now and see what we're going to do. Remember, at the Periraptors we want to be doing another little burn just to change our course, because we're going to be picking up speed here, and if we can, uh, I don't know if we could or not uh, do another sling... We could give it a go. Should we do another a double slingshot past Midmus? We'll see what we can do. Okay, so uh, we're in the loop, we're in moon's gravity now, and the periapsis is going to be in uh, 22 minutes. So about four minutes before then, we'll um, there we go. So right now we're at our fastest, and this is when you want to do your most amount of burn because the gra the gravity gets smaller exponentially further away from the planet is. So this is when you get doing the most amount of uh, acceleration. <coughs> And as soon as you get to periapsis, that's just the closest point, and then after that you really want to start um, uh, really accelerating. And I'm thinking, if that's the way we're going, we're basically headed 270 degrees. Shall we have a go going straight up, maybe? Because we're going to try and do a slingshot past Minmus now. T. Where is Mechjed when you need him? But I'm an expert pilot. I don't need a mech jib. I think it's uh, I think it's a cheat, but I can see its usefulness. I especially like kill rot and everything, and uh, it's like getting autopilot to do your work for you. So now we're going to be moving our trajectory over to that way. We seem to be going a bit off tangent now, so I think we might need to be facing south a bit. Uh, 